helping you improve your life in the workplace and in social situations. Joining us for her Tuesday tips of advice, we have relationship expert Dr. Patty Ann Tublin. It's great to have you with Good us. Good morning. I know, and you brought your little bobblehead with you. My little mini. It looks uh -huh. so much like you. Look at this. <laughs> it is so much like her. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Got to show that off. It was a it was a gift from speaking in Arizona to a group of CEOs and COOs yeah. on the importance of business relationships. It, it is somewhat freaky that it's so <laughs> so you. All right, here's our first question. This is from Tom in Orange, Dr. Patty Ann. I hate giving presentations at work, and I really hate it when I get interrupted with questions during my presentations because I get totally thrown off point. Can you help me deal with the questions without being totally thrown off track? That's a great question. Thank you for asking, Tom. And a lot of people hate giving presentations. So I know a lot of people will learn from this. First and foremost, always be thoroughly prepared. Do your research before any presentation. Nothing trumps being prepared, so chances are a lot of what will be thrown at you, you'll be already prepared for. Having said that, you can't possibly anticipate every question. Right. So here's the good news. If people are asking questions, that means that they're engaged and they're listening and they want to hear what you have to say. So kudos to you. So the other thing I would suggest is depending upon the situation, you might be able to say before the presentation starts to please hold your questions until after the presentation. But that's not always appropriate, right? Sometimes it's, it, you want them to be engaged. So here's what you do. First and foremost, and this is really important, Get clarification that you understand exactly what the question is that's being asked. Because you don't want to be answering a question that's not the real question. So you want to repeat the question before you answer to, it. To get the clarification. Yes. That's the first thing. Then, if you don't know the answer to the question, for whatever reason, even if it's not relevant, it doesn't matter, say to the person, that's a great question, I don't know, let me do my research, I will get back to you and, in fact, get back to them and follow up and move on. I always say that. Right? That's a great, mm -hmm. and it's, but just make sure that you follow up. It, well, it's human. It's if human. you don't know the answer, you, hey, fess up to it and say, I'll get it, get it to you, though, as soon as I find it. Right. And then if the question's appropriate and you do know the answer, because the question was to stay on track and not to get thrown off, just answer the question concisely, clearly, stay focused on the question, only the question answer it, move on, and then if you forget where you are, mm -hmm. very lightheartedly say to the audience, now where was I again? Inevitably somebody will remind yeah, you. Yeah, you say, hey, let me get back to where we were. Exactly. Where were we? Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect. All right.